I'd been retired military, uh, flew helicopters for 25 years, and had physicals every year. And then when he uh, put the stethoscope on my uh, chest, he said, mm, that doesn't sound good at all. I went, what's going on there? Dr. Thorne explained exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to go in and repair the, the valve. And uh, when the doctor told me, uh, yeah, nothing good will happen if you don't take care of this. And so looking at the effects of, of what would happen had I not gone through the surgery and postponed it. Uh, if they were here today standing in front of me, I'd say, you saved my life. Thank you. You did a great job. What I was really pleased with were the attendants at, after the surgery post-op because they, they are calm. Uh, there were, if there was any problems, they were right there in the, in the room. Uh, there were a couple of times I had some problems, so I just hit the buzzer, and boy, they were right in there in the room. Uh, all hours of night, they were there in attendance. So they're uh, very professional. I was very impressed with the nursing. Uh, and the changes in nursing, they let me know who the next nurse would be in on the next shift. And I was very pleased. I just very confident and uh, a relaxed feeling around there. The, the philosophy in the, in the military is either lead, follow, or get out of the way. And so you, you want to have very professional people uh, that can respond in a very uh, immediate way if, if there is some emergency. I found that with the hospital staff very professional, knew what they were doing, and, and took care of emergencies very, very quickly.